Hey, this is Zach of All Trades. Today we're going to be talking about how to fix a resin print when your supports leave marks and imperfections. We'll be talking about this model and also this model right here. As you can see, her back has plenty of marks left by the supports. And we'll just talk about the process and all the tools that you will need. So starting off with the tools that you'll need, you'll need a UV light, some resin, and also something to put it in. I use bottle caps isopropyl alcohol this is 91 percent a pair of some type of clippers to cut the supports these are cuticle clippers they work really well because of the fine tips to get close to the print without leaving any marks a paintbrush with fine bristles some sandpaper your grit choice also a razor blade and a scraper so my print has been sitting in here in the water for maybe 20 minutes this is warm water basically it helps to make the supports come off a lot easier and this is me taking the scraper and basically pulling it off the base plate so here i am going to town with the cuticle clippers cutting the supports as close as i can to the model and then once i get most of them cut i like to take my hands and just kind of pry them off and once everything is cleaned up i'll take the isopropyl alcohol and go through my model spraying and cleaning several times and making sure basically all the resin that is left from the printer is off I'll scrub them down and then I like to use a toothbrush to really get in there and basically clean all the crevices so I'm just kind of showing that process right here and I'll do this several times basically like I said until the resin print the resin is off the print so here I am taking sandpaper I'm basically knocking any of the bumps and marks left by the supports I'll do this softly just enough to basically get, get knock them down without losing any of the detail of the print and once I do that, I'll take the razor blade and get in there where I could not use the sandpaper, especially on spots that have uh, the finer detail right here on her face. I'll show you how I cut this one piece off because I did not want to lose the detail using the sandpaper. And so once I do this, I'll basically get to work on fixing the print. I'll take this paintbrush, I'll dip it in the resin, and I'm going to do small layers of resin each time and as i do this i'll just go through the print and i'll cure it several times like i said just you want to do very small thin layers take your time with this do not rush because once you put too much on and cure it you cannot take it off so like i said here i am one more time kind of going through and curing again just showing that full process and as you can see she's already starting to look a lot cleaner now she's going to be more shinier then when it comes off the printer, but I like to paint most of my prints anyway, so this won't matter. And this is just showing a final look at her, and you can tell basically she looks a lot better. Now this is going back to the Plague Doctor. His boot was left with a divot, maybe from the support, so here I am kind of fixing that and showing the same process. I'll cure it, do a couple of thin layers until I'm satisfied showing the process of curing and then I'll look over my print basically 100% and make sure that it's to my liking before I move on and then I notice right here on the boot I did put a drain hole because I do print my prints hollow and I want to actually fix that drain hole so I'll put some resin in there and do the same process and cure that do this a few times sand it and you will not even tell there was a drain hole, as you can see right there. And so here I am, happy with the print, and I'm trying to actually stand this guy up, and he's kind of top heavy, and I could not find a good balance. So I'm actually gonna use some resin to put a little bit more of a surface area on his boots and make it more uh, parallel and even. And once I did that, he basically was able to stand up. So let's check this guy out. So if you have any questions or comments, write down below. I'll get back with you as soon as I can. Hey guys, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned. Appreciate it.